What's up guys, today we are back in the shop. In the last video, we installed the Dinger Built exhaust system. Super happy with that. Now we wanna go ahead and do the intake system. So this is the Dinger Built medium length intake. Uh, I ran this same kind of intake on my Z125 and it was literally the biggest difference. Even a bigger difference than the exhaust it could be right that on. they work Look together, it. It. but right it was a absolute huge difference. I was able to pop up second gear wheelies in a sit down that I was never able to do before, just so much more torque. So I'm hoping that same thing applies to the Grom. So we're gonna be installing this. Now with installing an intake and an exhaust, your stock ECU is not going to run very well. It's gonna run lean. So you're gonna need something to tune it or in my case, I got a tuned ECU from the guys at DH Motoring. So a big shout out to them. I reached out to them, basically told them what I was trying to do. They said, hey man, no problem. And you know, kind of a backstory as well, Justin, he, you know, he's in the racing scene and uh, he basically said these guys are legit. I'll let you guys know what I think about this tune and everything. And obviously he can retune it if I find something needs to be adjusted but the intake is super awesome. This is super awesome. I love the exhaust so far, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get to it. Now to start off, I'm just gonna work on getting all the plastics taken off. The plastics are really easy, so I just wanna make sure you guys can see what's going on. So let me just go ahead and get the plastics off. First thing we're gonna do is disconnect this sensor right here. Then we're gonna loosen a Phillips hose clamp right here. Now supporting the intake system is gonna be a bolt way back in there on the right side. And if we go around to the left side, we're gonna find a bolt kind of in the same location right there. And then as you do that, you're gonna to wanna to take out this hose that is going inside the plastic here. And then also take that hose out that goes into here. This is your crank case breather. So you're gonna reuse that. Also, don't forget to pull this tube off of the intake manifold. So now you kind of see the difference. So this is obviously stock and this thing is huge, like as big as my face. And now we're just replacing it with this. So uh, beautiful performance, lightweight, <laughs> Kobe. I forgot to take the sensor off. Now going back to the bike, I got this little silicone piece. I'm just gonna sneak that in there, put that on the intake manifold. And then once I get this, I'm going to sneak on both of my hose clamps. And I guess the best way would probably be up to get to them. So I'm just going to put them up. So now I'm just making sure it's really pushed on there, making sure that it's sealed. And then we're going to get our intake here. And it looks like we got a get it by this ignition coil. The hose that's actually going through it is the breather hose. So maybe he wants you to move this little metal bracket here. That way you kind of can get straight to it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of bend that out of the way. So there we go. I just went ahead and broke it off. I figured it was kind of unnecessary. Now we should have a straight shot here. So I'm just gonna kind of Position the intake, and there's that. Make sure that, okay. Now we're gonna also need to plug in the sensor. So I'm just gonna move the sensor wire over on this side, and then plug it in. There's that, and then this breather hose is way too long, so we're gonna need to shorten that so it just goes to this little breather place that he's got on the bottom of the intake right here. So I'll do that real quick. And I'm just gonna use this hose clamp I got sitting around and slide her on where she goes. 
Now we're just going to tighten down everything, but before we do that, we're just going to push, make sure everything is sealed properly, and then we're just going to tighten down these two hose clamps that we have in here. One take. All right, guys, and that is it. I went ahead and double checked all the hose clamps and they're all good. Double check the sensor as well and double check the hose. Now, again, you will need a hose clamp right here. The stock hose clamp just doesn't cut it. It's just really crappy. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I also did turn it off camera. I was kind of working on it weird. So that looks a little bit better. Sorry guys, I just wanted to clarify for the video. So my intake's down here in this area in the video, but actually I pushed it up now. I've realized afterwards that I just didn't have it turned enough. So you can see how the frame's going right here and it's you know got a little gap in between. So it actually pushes it over and up as well. So I just wanted to clarify that my intake was way down here. It goes a lot more up which creates a lot more room up underneath it. Now you won't really see any of this because the plastic will be on. So you'll more see, you know, in there and mainly from the front you see a lot. So it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So before we get to riding, we're gonna need to also change the ECU. Now the ECU is right here. So basically you're just gonna take this off just like that and then you're gonna to have to unplug it, which will take two hands for me. After I unplug it, I'll just put on the new one. Hey guys, really quick, I just wanted to clarify for the video. So in the video, I made it look like it was plug and play because I literally thought it was and I totally forgot, so I apologize. But you do need to swap over some of the pins. If you have the OG ECU and you're putting it on the SF Grom, some of the pins for the ECU are different. So you're gonna to need to swap over those pins. I didn't do it on video and I apologize. If you guys want me to make a video, I'll be more than happy to and I'll just have to take it apart and show you guys how to do it. Um, but they have a full detailed thing on how to do it with pictures and everything on the DH Motoring website. Definitely make sure to check that out if you guys wanna get this ECU or the ECU that's on my bike now and you know make it work. If you have an OG Grom, you're totally good, but I just wanted to clarify really quick because I totally forgot about it and I apologize. Now again, I have to deal with the plastics, but that's really easy. And there we go. So all done, the exhaust, the intake, and the ECU is finally on. These are the last couple things I wanted to do for my 125, trying to get the most power out of the 125. Did the same thing on my Z125, and once I did all three of these things, I saw a huge difference. So I wanted to do all that again, just kind of at the same time on this, just because I've learned a lot. So gonna go out tomorrow gonna ride around and see what I think about it I'm also gonna make a video tomorrow basically talking about it after I've rode it for a little while let you guys know the power increase or you know anything that I've really uh, noticed is gonna be in that video so if you guys are interested definitely make sure to subscribe and check that out that video should be coming out the same time next week that this video came out um, so yeah just one week and I'll see you guys again. Oh, big shout out to Dingerbilt for sending me over the parts. I definitely paid for him. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's sponsored or something, but super big shout out to him. He's always helped me and like he FaceTimed me and showed me like all the parts and everything as he was making them. So that was super cool. Big shout out to Dinger. Uh, and thank you for all the stickers. <laughs> Thanks. Um, but yeah, big shout out to him and DH Motoring. Thank you for the ECU work and stuff you've done. Uh, super excited to test that out. I haven't really seen anything from DH Motoring, but I've heard so many good things, so I'm super excited about that as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I won't drag this video along anymore. I'll see you guys next week.